I've got, a, I've got a question for you now. I've got yep. a question, OK? Yeah. It's a, it's a bit of a vague question. It's, this is one of those questions that's impossible for anyone to ever answer, so it's a, like a waste of breath question, but, but mm. bear with me here, OK? <laughs> so will, <laughs> will, we, will there ever be an actor like Tom Cruise again in the future? Is that possible? Will there ever, ever be someone who will have a career like that again? Because so Tom Cruise has just had his biggest uh, opening yeah. ever um 42 years into his career wow so he did so he did taps in 1981 did he oh wow which which i haven't seen did you see taps I uh, see. on hbo when i was a kid uh, yeah because i don't think that was in the theater long yeah uh, risk risky business risky business ni- yes 1983 mm-hmm. um, and then now yeah top gun maverick 2022 and he's yeah. got mission impossible lined up for 2023 2024 um, so 40, 40 year career. Has, has anyone had a career like that? Will anyone else ever have one again? Wow. That's a better question than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. J- judging by the standard of my usual questions. Yeah, that's all right, <laughs> isn't it? Um, probably not. Although, I mean, so many young actors, you'd figure someone would be able to do something similar. But I think he's just got a great niche. I think he's produced this film, oh, the, Maver- the Maverick film too, right? So he's obviously yeah. looking for material, looking for directors. So I think he's got a lot of control over his career, which probably is a, a special thing. Um, but that's a lot of years. And I think so many of the roles to me seem really similar because I, I, you know, I'm not a big Tom Cruise aficionado, so I haven't seen a bunch of films. But you know, when you think about the, the Top Gun films, the Mission Impossible films, the things where he really are his bread and butter yeah. seem to be that action thing. And he's willing to, you know, he's in great shape. He's in great shape. Uh, you know, there's another like football naked, half naked scene in this one. And he still and looks great. He's going to be 60 next month, you know, Amazing. Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I I, would think it'd be hard. I mean, you look at someone like uh, Cary Grant, maybe John Ford, who we've talked about a little bit, had a pretty oh. long career. I, I looked I looked up some long careers, actually. So, yeah. so like, I'm going to I'm going to counter you with some um, uh, oh, some you counter s- suggestions. So you James, set me Stewart, up. James Stewart, James Stewart. OK, who? made yeah. um, he made Mr. Smith goes to Washington in 1936. Oh, yeah. For sure. And he was in the shootest in 1976. So that's wow. 40 years. Yeah. So that's hmm. yeah, it's nearly Tom Cruise. But but you know, by, at the end of his career, he wasn't doing big leads and he wasn't doing his biggest ever pictures. Yeah. John Wayne. Um, so Stagecoach, 1939. Yeah. And, he, and that was like the first thing that really rocketed him to yeah. fame. The shootest again, mm. uh, 1976. So that's 37 Ooh. years at the top yeah. for John Wayne. Huh. Mm. Uh, Cary Grant. Yeah, uh, was kind of making films between 1937, 1966. Okay, oh. so 29, 29 years. Hmm. That's it. Bogart, 1930 to 1956, 26 years. The yeah. only, only, only reasonable comparison I could draw was Robert De Niro. Yeah, Mean, mean Streets was 1973. The Irishman, yeah, well, not his greatest picture, but you know, it's it's. But people talked about it. 2019. So that's 46 years doing significant leads. Wow. But, but you know, Robert De Niro has had peaks and troughs, whereas yeah. Tom Cruise, see, this, this is the thing about Tom. I think he very rarely makes a clunker. Would you agree? Uh, commercially, I think, um, and critically, I think he's got lots of clunkers, honestly. Well, I, I, you know, um, I'm not sure he has. Oh, wow. I think even critically, it's rare that a Tom Cruise film gets utterly panned. Um, you know, some, some of him better than others. Yeah. Um, but uh, but actually, you know, yeah, even even the not so good ones, you know, are, are rarely, yeah. you know, barrel scrapers. Hmm. What, what was the first time you saw Tom Cruise in a movie? Do you remember? I think I did. Did you see little... Risky Business when it was first out? Well, I saw Risky Business in the theaters and I loved that. Oh, that was. And I, you know, I was probably was 83. So yeah, was 15, 16 years old, you know, when I saw that. So um I loved it. They're barely old enough to see it. Was that R-rated, Risky oh Business? God, you're, you're right. You're right. <gasps> I had one friend who was a year older, so he snuck me into Purple Rain as my oh, escort, yeah. <laughs> my guardian. <laughs> and then I think we, probably that same summer might have been Risky Business. Um, yes, yeah, so that was the first thing. I, th- I think I saw Taps after that because it would have been on, as I said, cable by that point. But um, yeah, Risky Business, first film I saw. Mm. Um, yeah. 
I, I never saw him on screen before Top Gun. That was the first time oh. I saw him. Which Although isn't that many of, years later. It's like four, yeah, three, four so years three later. Yeah, three years, three years later. Yeah. And then Color of Money was the same year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, and, and, um, you know, that's a pretty impressive CV, actually. Taps, yeah. Rescue Business, Top Gun, Color of Money. It's a good start to a career, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then after that, Rain Man, I saw... Interview the, with the Vampire, uh, 1994, which is yeah. not so good. Okay, so there are some clunkers. Okay. Cocktail? Come on. Is there, is there... Uh, I haven't seen, I haven't seen mm, Cocktail. No, no, I, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's funny. I mean, they're, 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 they're honestly, I love Risky Business. Um, I love the new film, Ma- Maverick, but I don't know. The, the, I don't trust myself on that one so much. Um, Magnolia. I loved, I hate, I hated Magnolia, but I loved his part. It seemed like it was written perfectly for him. Yeah. He nailed it. He was so good in that. I, I'm surprised that you hated the rest of the film. What's to hate about Magnolia? Um, the frogs? I just found it disjointed. Yeah, the fr- the ending was ugh, too much for me to buy. And then, uh, actually, you know, one thing that really bugged me was Amy Mann's music, but mostly because it was just poorly used and edited ah. in. It was so loud. It just drowned out the a, a lot of the action and, and yeah. I thought it was. I mean, I like a lot of come of some of Anderson's films. I really loved, like um, there might be blood, um, and uh, Boogie Nights. But that Boogie one Nights. really did not react well to it. But we're not talking about him. We're talking about <laughs> Tom the Cruise. cruise missile. So the first you? Mission Impossible film was ninety six. Okay. Wow. Um, second second Mission Impossible film. So then yeah. we've had three, four, five, six. So the new ones are going to be seven and eight. Wow. And amazingly, it seemed to be getting better. Did you see Mission Impossible 6, Fallout, which is 2018? No, it's like, that's the, that's the best one so far. Oh, really? Wow. Just Dynamite. It's great okay. fun. All right. And then my, my, my favorite Tom Cruise role, do you want to have a guess? What's my favorite Tom Cruise part? What era? When would you say? What year? Maybe they could it's, I'm going to give you a clue. It's 2008. 2000. Not War of the Worlds. No, no, that was 2005 and not War of the Worlds, which I quite like, actually. Interesting screenplay from David Kep, isn't it? And for War yeah. of the Worlds, Spielberg doing some fancy camera stuff. Yeah. It's not a disaster, that film. I must go and rewatch it. But uh, what's, your, what's 2008? 2008, you want to guess? It was Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder. Oh, my, that's right. So where Tom Cruise plays completely against against type he kind of puts on a bald wig and some prosthetic hands yes and just like that crazy rap dance at the end as yes. um as robert downey jr's agent isn't he goes, oh, he's just fantastic okay and i yes, spent I most of tropic thunder thinking i know that voice who is that guy i know the voice yeah, yeah. i know the voice who is it yeah. it was really only at the end of the movie i realized oh my god it's tom cruise yeah. tom cruise has got the funny you know tom cruise can do funny yeah. i don't yeah, think, I think he, he gets can. much credit for it he does charm and he does action but he can do funny Huh. I I find him tremendously watchable. Hmm. Well, I think um, you've encouraged me to go back and look at his films and and at Tom Cruise differently. Wait a second, he's a Scientologist, though, right? When uh, when did the Scientologist you start? To, you have to ruin that. You have to ruin the fantasy at the last minute. Uh, I was just enjoying a Tom Cruise reverie there, and then he ruined it for me. <laughs> You're right; he is a Scientologist. I think that's part of the barrier. I think as soon as I found that out, in the, which was probably pretty early in his career, the '90s, I think that's when I stopped taking him seriously. So, boy. I, right. I worry about badmouthing Scientology because I wonder then we'll, I whether we will somehow get sort of spam bombed or <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what the proper term is, but but Please. somehow kind of internet hounded. Please by, edit uh, this part out. <laughs> I'm scared of them. This will be the deleted scene in the history of the popcorn can. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we should leave it there. Let's leave it there. I agree. I agree. Oh my god. Well, let's run. We run. This is when we run. Run, run away. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>